Hello beautiful people, my name is Violet Velez, I'm a Chicago hairstylist working at Marianne Strokrick Salon. I'm excited to show you a braiding tutorial on boxer braids for our first look. A small list of tools that you'll need today include a rat tail comb, rubber bands, hair gel of your choice, and a crimper is optional. During our tutorial, you will see me use a crimper. That's just to add some texture and some volume to the hair, just to show you what that can do for your braids. So let's get started. Starting off here by splitting the hair into two sections, getting our first side nice and smooth. Using our gel, we're gonna work it into the hair. We're gonna start by taking our first section, slicing off the top, Keeping a nice firm grip on the hair, we're going to split this section into three even pieces. One, two, and three. Now let's get started. Taking our right piece, sliding it under the middle, we're going to grab our left side with our pincher fingers. While holding these pieces firmly in our hand, we're going to bring our top piece and rotate it underneath the middle. After alternating hands, we're going to add hair from our right side and slide it into our pincher fingers. Our pincher fingers are our thumb and index fingers. As you can see, I'm trying to smooth out the hair as much as possible before I bring the top piece around and underneath. Again, alternating hands, moving on to the left side, holding firmly and keeping our hands as close to the scalp as possible. We're adding hair on the left side before we take our top piece and rotate it underneath. Taking our top strand, we're going to rotate underneath. While alternating hands, we're going to allow that top strand to just lay over out of our way while we're adding hair from the right side directly into our pincher finger. We will be following this pattern all the way down the head until we get off of the scalp. I know this braiding technique can feel very confusing at first, but stick with it. With time and practice, I promise it becomes easier. I find it helpful while practicing this braid style to talk yourself through each step to allow you to kind of memorize the steps and work your way through the hair without confusion. Always remembering to rotate, slide under, add hair, repeat. Rotate, add hair, repeat. Rotate, add hair, repeat. As you're working your way down the head, it is helpful to tilt their head forward. I like to take smaller sections as I'm working my way towards the neck, preparing to take our braid off the scalp. Once we run out of hair on the scalp, we're gonna continue our braid off the scalp, keeping it nice and tight, continuing to use our underhand technique. I feel that this is the easy part. <laughs> Again, alternating strands between your pincher fingers, rotating under the middle, and continuing all the way down till the ends. Sometimes when the hair is a little dry towards the ends, I like to add some gel just to keep all those flyaways together. Now we're just securing it with a rubber band on the ends. Adding mousse is optional. I like to use it to get rid of some of the flyaways. Also, you can see some of our partings. I like to comb that out when I'm done. And there you have it, our boxer braids. So really quickly, I just wanted to show you what the boxer braid would look like on crimped hair. Again, starting with three strands, 
rotating the strands underneath, leaving hair out, working our way down the head. As you can see, this braid is a lot thicker. It has more grip to it, which I like because I do feel like on straight hair, the braids do tend to fall out a lot easier than they would with textured hair. So crimping the hair is always an option and it does add a little bit of fun to the style as well. Working our way down the head, we are adding hair to our pincher finger, taking the top strand, rotating it around, alternating hands, and so on. I mean, look at how thick this braid is looking. I really love using a crimper while braiding hair. I do feel like it adds a really nice texture and it does make the braid a lot bigger, um, but it's optional. Remember taking smaller sections as we're working our way off of the scalp and continuing our way down to the ends. I am living for the fullness in this braid. Hope you like it. Again, just adding some finishing touches to the hair. It definitely helps with flyaways and hold. Also, when I'm done, sometimes I like to pinch the braid out just a little bit, just to add a little bit more volume to the braid. And there you have it. So we have our natural hair on the left and crimped on the right side. And voila. I hope you all enjoyed this braiding tutorial. Remember, practice makes perfect. Stick with it. Don't give up.